we've got another box. And uh, this is a, a new company, and it's something that I know you're going to be interested in. The only reviews I do are reviews of items that I think you, my subscribers, would be interested in. And in this case, it is another power station, but it's a new company, Big Blue. So let's open the box up and see what this thing is. You know, um, any review I do is usually done in addition to our normal Friday programming. And like I mentioned, I only do things that I think you guys would be interested in. And who are you guys? You guys are people who are interested in self-sufficiency, um, being prepared for emergencies. You're interested in camping. You're interested in road trips. You're interested in camping in remote, remote places. And that's why I do the reviews I do. I'm usually thinking about things that you guys would want to see. Portable power station. And the thing about this one is, it is not lithium ion. It's lithium iron phosphate or LiPo4. That's something that you're going to see a lot more of in these more affordable power stations now and in the future. Used to be that only the big expensive ones had it. And uh, this is probably cables. And there it is. It's not bad looking. It's uh, 500 watts. Well, let's get the specs. Uh, let's, let's just some quick specs on this. Just right on the box here. They've got it on the outside. It's um, actually, it's 537.6 watt hours. So it's better than 500. It's 537 LifePo 4 battery. And it comes with a adapter for charging, you know. We'll see what it's got that way. There's a USB or a USB-C to USB-C. That would be for charging like computers. And here's the uh, charging cord for cigarette lighter. This would go from this to your car battery. Look at that. These don't usually come with these. This is the 110 brick, so you can charge it from a wall. And here's your power switch down here, and I haven't turned it on yet. There's the display. We're seeing it for the first time. You and me. It shows input. It shows what's going out. It shows how many hours are left to, to empty. And it's showing right now that it's at 63%, and it's got the uh, graph on it also. It looks good. Now, it says it's fast charging. It's got protection against overcharging, over discharging, which means you can't charge it all, you can't uh, empty the battery all the way out, you can't deplete the battery. Uh, you can't put in too much current, it's got uh, protection from that. And it's protected from short circuits, and it's protected from overheating. Stop. And let's see here. Like I mentioned, it's got 537.6 watt hour capacity. Okay, more information. On solar, it says that you can have 12, between 12 and 30 volts, 4 amps, 110 watt maximum is what it'll take. Oh, it has a light on the back. Let's see how good the light is. Oh, the light is good. I like this style. It's a nice bright flood. So it tended, it will light up your camper. That's good. Or light up your campsite. And it's got a lower setting. Oh, good. You know what? Doesn't have that SOS feature. Oh, it does.
<laughs> okay, I guess we got to have that. First thing I'm going to do is charge her up. I'm throwing a new tool into the kit, a decibel reader. And it looks like about 57 and a half decibels. And it does tell us how long it will take to charge from 64% is saying it'll take 2.4 hours to full. From the wall, it's got 93 watts going into it. And it's made by Cell Power. This is a Cell Power 500. It has an MPPT uh, controller in it for when you're hooking it up to solar. So it's got all the good stuff. We'll just see how well it does. Well, as for what it has, let's take a closer look. It's got a 12 volt accessory socket here, which is good for um, 10 amps and 120 watts. It's got two 5.5 millimeter uh, bayonet plugs down here, and these are 60 watts a piece for 120 watt total, and these are 5 amp. It's got two quick charge down here, USBs, USB A's, and these are 5 volt um, 3 amp, and these are also um, 36 watts. These are 18 watts a piece for 36 watts. Two USB C PDs. And these are uh, 60 watts a piece in and out. So you can charge off of these or you can charge into this. And uh, for a total of 60 watts a piece for a total of 120 watts. Over here, you've got two 120 volt, 500 watt AC outlets. And uh, these are pure sine wave. Okay, here we're going to do a drawdown test. Now this is rated at 536.03 watt hours. And we're going to see how many of those watt hours actually go towards running the inverter and um, running the cooling fan and how many watt hours we can get out of it. Showing 121.9 volts. We'll go ahead and start it up here. Got a 278 watt load on it. We'll just have to check back here. Okay, well, here's the deal. Instead of running this through all the tests like I normally do, I'm going to take this on the road. We're leaving. We're going to take this on a trip. And I'm just going to test it out as we go. So this was just the unboxing. We'll see how it works on the road, which is more important to us anyway, is what can it actually do? Well, we're going to find out. Linda's got some rice going, and tonight we're having fresh ahi rice and some kind of vegetable. Well, we've been on the road with Big Blue here for about three weeks now, out here in the Nevada desert, and we've come to determine that we really like him. Him, Big Blue. <laughs> yeah, he's doing everything they say he does. Um, and I've learned a little bit more about him. And he's been running our refrigerator, charging my laptop, running our rice cooker, uh, charging my uh, camera batteries, our cell phones. Uh, been doing all that flawlessly. So let me go over uh, some other things. I'll, sh I'll show you what he's doing. Right now I've got him plugged in charging the laptop. I get uh, 60 watts uh, each of these PD 60 watt USB-C uh, input outputs. Now these are two-way like I mentioned earlier. So the thing here is that you can get 60 out of both of them. So I could have two laptops on here each getting 60 watts or two other you know appliances of your choice. But the thing is there's three ways to charge Big Blue. You can charge them with the AC wall adapter and uh, I was getting about 95 watts at home. He'll take uh, up to 110 watts of solar and they do make a 120 watt solar panel, which puts out uh, 95 to 105 watts, according to their information. They make a, it's also a waterproof solar panel, which is interesting. I'd like to get my hands on one of those so I can check it out. But listen to this. 
So you can charge him and he'll take up to 110 watts of solar. 95 watts from a wall outlet, 110 watts from solar, or you can get a splitter, an adapter, to feed both of these USB-Cs at one time and put 120 watts in through USB-C. So that's the fastest way to charge Big Blue. And you can charge for doing it that way from, um, from flat to full charge in three hours. And once again, this is a, a LifePo battery, uh, 2000 plus cycles. And it's, uh, you know, safer from overheating, things like that. And they last longer, twice as long. Now, Big Blue is currently hooked up to our refrigerator here. It's a um, 55 quart, 12 volt compressor refrigerator. And when we did the drawdown test, we got 450 watt hours out of Big Blue, which is 84% efficient, which is pretty good. And this will run this refrigerator for 30 hours. And that means that if you hook up solar to this, you could run a refrigerator like this indefinitely, unless you get a long string of rainy days. <laughs> but it wouldn't take much to keep this refrigerator going through this power unit, so that's good. I took those two battery clips and hooked it up to the battery and, and then plugged it into Big Blue and it was charging my battery. Now my battery was fully charged, but it was still putting in about 21, 22 watts. So I guess you can use it to charge your battery. Now it's not a jump starter, I can tell you that, but it was charging my battery. One thing I do find a little strange here is that you can only plug in one grounded uh, 110 plug at a time. So you can have a regular 110 plug, like if you're charging an electric shaver or something like that, and then one grounded plug. See there? Now this is a 500 watt pure sine wave with a thousand watt peak. That part works fine. Now, the thing is, for me, this hasn't been an issue because, you know, right now this is my 110 laptop adapter, which I plug my laptop in when I'm actually using it, and I plug it into here. And then uh, when I'm just charging my laptop in between uses, I plug it in down here on the uh, USB-C PD ports down here. But that was the only thing that I thought uh, was a little strange on it. Now, as for pass-through charging, uh, right now I've got 63 watts coming in from the solar panel. I got 55 going out. So it's a yes for DC. It's a no for AC. So if you can't, if you try to uh, do pass-through charging on the AC, it won't do it. The reason for that is you've got a very expensive battery inside here. And if you get it hot, you can damage it. So by drawing too much and having too much coming in, you'll overheat the battery. So that's how this is protected. Yes for DC. By the way, these uh, DC outlets here are regulated. So that's another good thing. An MPPT controller, pure sine wave over here, and it's got a battery management system in it too that helps protect the battery, but it's still a no, no go on pass through charging if you're talking about using AC with it. Okay, I'm charging off a of solar here. I've got my laptop plugged in. If I push and hold the AC switch over here, it will not turn on. Now watch. If I unplug the solar, now when I push this, if you look in the lower right-hand corner of the screen, the AC comes on. So it senses that you've got 110 plugged into it and it will not let you turn on the AC as long as the solar is plugged in. And a lot of these are that way, and it's to protect that LifePo battery. The warranty on this is 18 months, but if you get in on the introductory, they're going to, uh, through Indiegogo, they're going to extend that to 24 months. Don't forget, this will also run a CPAP. Uh, CPAP. Uh, 40 watt CPAP, you can run it between 10 and 20 hours, depending on, you know, how constant it runs and if you use your, your vaporizer or not with it. You get, of course, you get more out of a CPAP if you turn that... Uh, humidifier off on it. Anyways, these aren't available until September and right now, and it'll be through crowdfunding through Indiegogo, I think. I'll leave details below this video on exactly how to purchase these. Here's the price. This is going to be $299 introductory, $299 for a LifePo 4 battery 
in a 536 watt unit. And the solar panel, 120 watt waterproof solar panel is gonna be 189 bucks. That is, if you, you shop around, you'll find out that's a really good price. So for $488, you get this and the solar panel, you're set to go. So check below and check out uh, how to purchase this. I got to get some details on that myself. I'll make sure I list it exactly in the details below in the video description. Check that out. All right. If you like the video, like, share, subscribe. See you around.